Hi, I'm Carrie with One Adventure at a Time. Today I'm going to show you how to install this bug screen in under 30 minutes. Now this bug screen I got from Amazon. It's a French door bug screen. It's wider than most than you buy and it comes almost completely done. Come with me, I'll show you how I did it. <laughs> This, I wanted to give you an idea of the first bug net that we used. This is polyester mesh. The holes are pretty big. We did have some no seams get through that. It tore really easily and it only lasted, what, maybe a month? And this one did not come with any Velcro around the edges and it's really lightweight. All right, so let me show you the new one that we got. This is fiberglass mesh. You can see the holes are much smaller. It's super heavy duty. And it did already come with this Velcro sewn on uh, three sides. This is the bottom here that you don't see any Velcro on. And this is supposed to not tear with dogs and cat claws. All right, so to install this bug screen, this is a super easy project. Um, this screen pretty much comes already ready to put up from Amazon. It does come with its own Velcro, which I managed to lose, which I don't know how you lose it in 60 square feet, but I had some laying around. So the only thing you're gonna need is a 3M acrylic tape. So this is the only tape that I've had that will keep the Velcro on the walls. So I went ahead and I put the 3M acrylic tape on the back of my Velcro. And again, this bug screen comes with Velcro all the way around the edges already sewn in. It is attached at the top, but I went ahead and just tacked it down the middle so that it wouldn't come apart. So what I'm working on is I think it's a blanket stitch. So my needle goes through both sides. The thread is on top. The thread that's attached to the back of the needle goes around the tip of the needle. And you pull it through. And that keeps this all nice and lined. So I'm just going to do this down, about halfway down or wherever you want your screen to stop. Again through both sides, thread on top, thread on the back, goes around the tip of the needle and pull it through. Now you might know a better way, this is just how I know to do it and it's working so I'm going to go with it. This is totally not a necessary step. This is the distracting view while we're putting up the bug net. Okay, so I've already got the Velcro on the top, so we're gonna put the Velcro on the sides. I'm just gonna peel off the backing of the 3M tape. Again, let me just say, Velcro without 3M tape sucks because it will not stay on the wall. With the 3M tape, it's a game changer. We're going to start up here, just follow along this door. What is this, a door jam? Now you'll have a long piece that you can use, but because I lost my roll of Velcro, I had to supplement. I also did want to mention that the acrylic tape does take just a little bit to set up. If you were to pull this off right now, it would come off. So just give it a good pressing all the way down. Be gentle with it. I think it's like 24 hours. But once it sets in there, it's harder than heck to get off. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to hang up the bug screen. And we're going to start in the middle right here between your door latches. And you do 
got to allow a little bit of extra room to go around the door latches. All the way along the top. Over to the side. Okay, so when you work around these door latches, you got to give a little bit of extra uh, mesh in these corners here. You don't want any holes for the bugs to get in. And then you can see my Velcro up here right above the whatever this stuff is. Fits right in here all the way across. And then we just tidy up the sides. And we are bug free. Now th there's a little bit of extra room in ours, but I did that on purpose because we do have the curtains that come over here. But if you wanted to move your Velcro line in a little bit more, you can make this a little tighter if you need to. All right, so we got the top and the sides all Velcroed in. Uh, Again, this is a French door bug screen, so it is 80 inches long, so it's a little longer than we need, so we're going to go ahead and cut it here. Okay, this is a really important step. If you do cut this like we did, you're going to want to close off these ends. So inside here is magnets, and you don't want them to slip out the bottom. So you can either just tack it together with some thread, or I'm just going to use a piece of my acrylic tape, put it in between the two layers, and it'll be good to go. Then we're going to go ahead and continue our Velcro on the inside all the way down, so this will be attached securely. All right, this is a piece that we cut off, and I just wanted to show you that it's really strong. Pretty hard to even tear this. Rudo, what do you think about the bug screen? Yeah, do you like it? You like being able to look outside? Is it outside that way? What about outside over here? Do you like looking out here? We found that just being able to have the doors open really increases the airflow, creates a nice breeze tunnel through the van. In fact, we like it so much, we're considering putting a second one in our slider door. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment. We love seeing your comments. And as always, thank you for watching.